We know it as the calm before the storm. In the early days of October, as Hurricane Matthew churned out to sea, coastal South Carolina was deceptively peaceful. Behind the calm, though, the state was getting ready. I spoke to several people yesterday who said they are staying put, they're not leaving. I was at the Lowe's in Conway yesterday and sandbags and plywood was flying off the shelf. Earlier that week, Governor Nikki Haley ordered a coastal evacuation. As the winds picked up, Santee Cooper crews finished our own preparations. And then we waited to see what Mother Nature would deliver. On October 8th, Matthew unleashed his full fury on South Carolina, skirting her southern coastline before making landfall late morning in McClellanville. In Myrtle Beach, our storm center monitored outages as the storm intensified. When Matthew headed back out to sea hours later, he left a devastated coastline. At daybreak on Sunday, October 9th, Santee Cooper rolled out and got to work with help from dozens of crews from utilities across the country who joined our effort. The challenges were enormous. Matthew brought more damage to Santee Cooper than any storm since Hugo, leaving fallen trees, broken poles, and sand-filled roads in his wake. The storm affected a third of our statewide transmission system and our ability to get electricity to 12 of the state's 20 electric cooperatives. Although our generating stations could still function, Matthew also left his mark there by damaging several pieces of equipment. On the distribution side, Matthew left more than 137,000 retail customers in Ori, Georgetown, and Berkeley counties without power. Pole by pole, line by line, and with true grit and determination, Crews got the lights back on. With the help of other utilities and our backstage support and logistics teams, we had more than 1,000 people working together to restore the Santee Cooper system. The numbers are staggering. Our customer service representatives handled more than 63,000 calls throughout the week. In our retail territory, workers replaced 290 poles and repaired many additional poles, transformers, and other equipment. On our transmission system, crews replaced 60 major structures and fixed lines in 400 spots where trees had fallen. And hundreds of customers took the time to say thank you, with some even delivering refreshments or cards to the front line. Just eight days after Matthew made landfall, at 6 p.m. on October 15th, Santee Cooper had successfully restored power to every customer who could receive it. The man on the truck told me to try my lights. <laughs> and then we have power. Thank you. Appreciate it, you guys. 